You're racing with the best of the best, and you have to be on your A game 24-7. If you slip just, you know, for one race, then you're way far behind. So you have to be doing everything you can do to make sure your car is 110%. It's not always going to be the way you like it to be, and that's just a part of racing. At the end of the night, it brings out the true talent. So pretty much my childhood was a lot here. We started racing, you know, I was like nine years old. From there until now, I'm 20 now, I've raced micros my whole life. I remember her coming into Port City Raceway in a Factor 1, and then um, the movement into the Sawyer chassis. So Sawyer Chassis is a big family-driven business. We have so many guys here that just, they work their heart out, and they've been with us for years, you know. Everybody has to know what's going on because we have our way of doing things. And we build all the parts here. We have the machines, we have benders, we have the welders in the back. You know, they do an awesome job welding these cars together. And it's just, it's really passionate business. I know here we are so busy right now. Even though it's off season and we're not racing, we're the busiest we are all year long. Just because everybody's getting ready for the Tulsa shootout. Everybody talks about the Chili Bowl and, you know, oh, man, that, that's, that's a week long. It's got to be, man, it's got to be such a, you know, so hard on everybody. And I'm going, you've obviously never experienced the shootout. Going into the Tulsa shootout, you're pumped up. You're ready. You're amped. You're, your nerves are flying. you got butterflies in your stomach. But it's a grind. It's tiring. It's there at 8 a.m. in the morning for the same seven days. By the final day, your feet are killing you from walking miles upon miles of pushing the car. You've eaten the same junk food, nachos and cheese and Frito chili pot. But that final day, they start calling for eight features up to the staging area. It's like a brand new life has been breathed into you. You're ready to go once again. In terms of difficulty, I would say the Tulsa shootout is probably the most difficult race to win. I won the shootout in 2015 in Restrictor. It was, and still is to this day, my favorite win. And every year I come back and I, I want another one. I want a friend sitting next to my trophy. The prestige of winning an event like this, I feel like it carries the same weight as if, you know, a sprint car driver winning the Knoxville Nationals or a late model driver winning the dream. For the micros, this is their Knoxville Nationals. This is their dream. I think there's for sure more pressure as someone who is a house car for Sawyer chassis because you go out there, you have the best equipment and everybody knows like, hey, this girl, she better do good. It's honestly been pretty good. I'm in almost every qualifier. I've been able to pass cars every time I've been on the track, so that's good. And it's so fun being at the Tulsa Shootout because you battle it out with everybody. And so every race is so prestigious. You really have to be on your A game and just fight for every spot that you can.